Okay, so primary, secondary, tertiary, how does that affect uh, the rate of these reactions? So remember, one, two, three, bang. SM1 is a two-step process with tertiary haloalkanes, and bang implies it's fast. One, two, three, bang. So let's look at SM1 first of all. That's a two-step process. Let's choose the simplest tertiary haloalkane, 2-bromo, two 2-methylpropane. Two and so the first step is, well, the bromine drops off, makes bromide. Bromine loves electrons. It's going to take them with them from the bond. And the second step is the, the negative hydroxide ion is going to stick onto that carbocation that we've made. Now that carbocation, uh, that positive carbony entity, that's stable. And there are low activation energies, relatively low activation energies, associated with both of these processes here. Low activation energy means it's, it's more likely to happen. So the SN2 process, well that's just one step. SN2 is a one step process with primary halo alkanes. And so let's choose bromomethane. And this one step does cheat a bit, it has an intermediary. You can see that this is the intermediary. Uh, it has a very unstable character, it's a high activation energy. So that step is a high activation energy. So it's unlikely to happen, so it's going to be a slower step. So SN2, a high activation energy, slower step. 